Hey ya, Laurie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time. If it's your first time here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But on to our second folio. Hopefully you aren't too bored of this. Um, so obviously you're just going to rip everything off that you need to rip off. Um, I may speed through this. Um, and cut out my little yammering ons. Let me know if, well actually it won't matter if you let me know because this video I'm going to be filming pretty much this entire series before I even put this video up so um, still comment down below, I'd love to hear from you but um, there's no point in me asking you a question that I need answered by the next video because I'll have filmed the next video before this one goes up if that makes sense. So I've picked out a few papers to start with. So I've got I think about seven pages. So they're all double sided but that doesn't really matter much <laughs> um, in the grand scheme of things. And they're all kind of sort of woodwork related images. Um, like so and I got them out of this um, paper pad which is mix and match rustic atmosphere design pad and I got it from the works um, for £3 it does say here that the works has a website which is just theworks.co.uk I don't know if they would if the ship items overseas or what i don't even know if the works might be an international company i have no idea but um you could definitely check into that if you want to have a look and see if you're able to get it obviously if you live in the uk um you'll probably have access to the works somewhere um so let's just have that down there out the road and i'm going to just pick my page that I want on the front and I'm pretty sure it was this one that I picked which is why I have two yeah I'm just going to shove these ones out of the way and get a hold of them doing well kind of flip and pick things up I'm just going to shove those out of the way just now just shove that out of the way as well and I'm going to grab my ruler. Every single one of these is going to be different in size. I don't know why that is, but basically every single one that I have made so far has either been slightly bigger or smaller than the last. Um, and that could just be the flap. Um, here's the last one that I did. And as you can see, the flap's slightly smaller. Um, and the one that I did before that is here. And you can see the flap on this one is roughly about the same as the flap on that one. Um, so yeah, they're all... Good. Like, I tried to pick three that were roughly the same size um, like in height and things like that so that they weren't too different. Um, like, I wasn't going to pick one small for one person and a big massive one for another person. Obviously, they do come in bigger sizes, so if you make one for yourself and you want it to be a lot bigger, there's that option. So I'm just going to destroy the place because I'm good at it. And then I'm going to measure this. So this is 17 by 25 and a half. I'm going to just grab this little piece over here, a pen, and that's the front. Back. Is seventeen 
as well. So, um, I'm just going to grab my little paper trimmer. And trim this down. So I kind of want, there's like a, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but there's like a large rose here. And then there's one up here as well, but this one, this one's slightly fainter than this one. So I kind of want this to be in the, on the page basically. So that was what, 25 there. Yeah, so I'm going to cut this to 25. I'm going to cut, going to cut a bunch of that off. So I'm going to flip it round. I can't be right, can it? Never mind, I'm in a dip. It needs to be cut to 17 here. <laughs> He's probably all shouting that at me. Um, so 17 here. and 25 here and it's going to be 25 and a half hopefully please <laughs> please yes so I'm gonna just trim that ever so slightly because it is slightly too big um, which is funny considering I measured the damn thing. So again, this one's going to be slightly smaller than the actual folder. Like so. But that's fine. I'm going to cut another one down to this size for the other side. So I've just went and grabbed my distress ink and I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find my walnut stain in this size, like the big size. Um, this size. So I'm having to use one of the little ones, which I know does the same thing, but it's the principle of the thing. I can't blow and find it. And it's my favourite one, so I'm not happy. So I'm just going to distress the edges of these before I stick them down. Um, and again, I'm using the walnut stain. I've just packaged up a swap and like posted it away. And I'm really hoping that I didn't accidentally put my walnut stain in the box. Because that's just my luck. <laughs> the kind of clumsy crap I would do. Uh, but if I did, oh well. <laughs> it's on its way to America now. Um, so I'm going to stick this down with my 3 in 1 Beacon Craft glue. Um, like I said last time, you could totally use um, double sided sticky tape here, um, any kind of heavy duty craft glue that isn't water based. So just looking at this again, that bend is more on this side than this side. And if I put this down, it's definitely going to cover up the majority of it. So I'm just going to measure roughly where that bend kind of ends. So 15 and a half. I'm going to trim this down 
ever so slightly. Just because I don't want to limit the flexibility of this. So I just sped that bit up purely because we've done it all before and I really don't want to bore you guys. Um, I accidentally put this one upside down but I kind of like the sort of symmetry. Anyway, um, if you do want a more in-depth um, video I will link the last folio we did together down below. Um, which obviously is a lot more detailed than this one. This is the second one so I'm not really going to spend as much time kind of talking you through it um but anyway i grabbed my lace and i'm thinking that this will look quite nice it's the same sort of design as the lace i used in the last folio um, it's just a slightly different color and yeah i like that so i'm just going to cut down two lengths of this hmm. okay then apparently i already have some cut there we go so i've been thinking about doing a giveaway soon and um, once i've recovered from my surgery i will be doing a subscriber giveaway um, and I was wondering what you would like the giveaway to be. Now it's going to be a craft related giveaway because most of my subscri subscribers are craft, crafty people. Um, but I'll probably be doing a makeup giveaway soon after, um, if not in the, soon, like, in the near future. But the first giveaway that I do will be a crafty kind of giveaway. Um, I have taken distress ink and gone over the little white bits that are peeking through just so that they're not as obvious underneath the lace. But anyway, so I was looking for some input on the type of giveaway you guys would like. So I'm thinking of two different, I've got two different kinds of thoughts basically and I would like to know what you guys would prefer. So I can either do a sort of craft supply giveaway where I just share some of my supplies with you guys. So like lace, um, metal embellishments, ephemera, things like that. Um, appliques, basically a, a little bit of everything that I have almost. Um, or I can sort of build a journal with you guys. Um, so like do a little series where we build a journal from start to finish and then give it away at the end. Um, so basically I would want a lot of input on the journal from you guys. Um, like what kind of journal, like themed journal, whether it be nature themed, um, Victorian lady themed, um, travel themed, anything like that. Um, I would want your say completely um so if you could let me know in the comments below 
what you would prefer, um, whether it be craft supplies or journal. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, obviously, you would need to be subscribed to the channel <laughs> to get in on the giveaway. And it won't be for at least maybe two months, give or take. Um, just depends on how long it takes me to recover, really. I'm hoping it won't take me that long to recover. But um, it'll probably be about two months. And then obviously however long it takes to sort of put it together like if it's a journal obviously it'll take a little bit longer than just kind of getting stuff together but obviously it'll be a bit more in depth as well so I keep turning this the wrong way around so that I'm opening it this way and I have no idea why so that's us got our outside panels done and I'm just going to go around and glue these little Fluffy bits down. So jumping straight on into the centre. One thing I did forget to show you on camera was the folding of the spinach area. So I just did the same thing where I took my ruler and just kind of pressed along it until it got that extra curvy, curvy goodness going. Um, so I'm going to just cut this down. Um, actually. I'm going to cut this down to the 17 or was that one the 15? I think that was the 17. Um, and I'm just cutting it slightly smaller just like the last ones we did on the outside. And then down to 25. Uh -huh. Glue all over my fingers. But yeah, definitely let me know down below what kind of giveaway you want. And obviously if you're choosing the journal, let me know what kind of journal. Like what kind of theme you would want um, or if you don't even want a theme let me know and um, if you just want it to be a sort of junk style journal too that's that's fine too um, but or if you have another idea for a giveaway let me know this is this will be my first ever giveaway so if you do have another suggestion on what kind of giveaway I could do I'd be happy to hear it I'm just making sure that I'm not cutting off this um, the spine area in any way. Nearly grabbed my paper clips. Don't know how they're going to help me anchor in the paper, but apparently my mind had a way of doing it. Um, also, any other videos that you would like to see, let me know um, if you've got any craft with me as you want me to do let me know or any tutorials on anything that you've seen in my videos um let me know or if you want me to try and figure out a way to do something that you maybe haven't been able to do I can try my best um and if you've got any suggestions on things that I could be trying to do better definitely let me know for instance, if there's a way to keep the glue off your hands, I would be very, very interested in that. It is really annoying. <laughs> um, I mean, this will probably get covered up anyway. But still, <laughs> I still want to look pretty. Need to open up a new one soon. But well, I say that actually, but see when you hold it upside down, these things last for ages. I'm just too impatient. <laughs> Which is weird, because I'm really patient when it comes to people. 
<laughs> really impatient when it comes to items like um, an inanimate objects I've just got no patience for but people I will actually have the most amount of patience in the world when it comes to actual human beings but with inanimate, inanimate objects I've got no patience at all I don't know if that's a common occurrence in people or what ah. I was thinking of doing a get to know me video as well um, so if you'd like to ask me any questions um, I can definitely do a sort of answering them kind of video which I think will be quite fun um, depending on the questions obviously but I think it would be quite a, a fun little video if you guys asked me some questions and then I answered them um, I'm just going to cut off this very end piece like I did last time This one doesn't really have that much of a serrated edge, but it just kind of gives that little gap as well. So that there's like a tiny little gap there now, rather than them touching. I'm just going to use this for the inside flap. So I cut this down to the same size as this one, then I remembered that this spine, the spine area rather, comes right up to this bit here, whereas last time it kind of stopped about, about here, so we had to kind of cut out a little sort of L shape, whereas this time we don't have to. So I'm actually too big. So what I'm going to do is measure how much I actually need. So about 21, just over 21 centimetres. I'm going to kind of count because I kind of want this thing here in here. Mm, it's not going to sit, is it? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to cut this bit here down and then measure it out. I mean the odds of this not getting covered up a lot. I mean once we've got our own spinal area down it is going to get covered up quite a bit. I'll know it's there. <laughs> You'll know it's there. It will still peek out a little bit, I hope. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to glue that down in a second. So I'm thinking I might actually wait to put the lace down. Um, the last two times I've put it down next, like once I've got all the, the panels down, I usually put the lace on, whereas it can sometimes kind of get in the way. So I'm thinking I may not do that. I may put the lace down last. Um, I'm just hoping that I don't kind of mess up in a way where can't get the lace down which is my fear <laughs> but normally obviously I'd put the lace here and here ne well not next I would do these wee flippy bits first but 
um, before I would put any pockets or anything like that in, I would put the lace in and do that. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wait and do it last. And hopefully that makes it easier and the lace doesn't obscure anything once it's down. I just need to obviously be mindful while I'm working away or try to be mindful. So what is everyone else working on? I'd love to know. Are you working on a journal? Are you working on one of these? Are you uh, making ephemera? Making a rug? What are you doing? <laughs> um, I would love to know what everyone else is doing. I am actually working on a rug. <laughs> I have been for about a year. It is slow going, mostly because I stopped doing it after my son was born. I stopped making it. But it kind of kept me, it gave me something to do when I was pregnant, which was awesome. Um, Um, yeah, I should have enough for both of these, I hope. Yes. So this is... Fifteen. Bye. Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. It's fifteen by twelve and a half. But yeah, I'm making like a shag pile rug um, for my daughter's room. So fifteen. Just, just, look at that, just and no more, 12 and a half, but yeah, it's slow going, but it's fun, I need to actually get back into it and get it done because once I'm fit that's like the first thing on my list is to get my kids rooms organized and sorted um, so it's probably something I could do while I'm recovering but will I? probably not <laughs> I'm just going to trim these down a little touch purely because I want them to be like these where they've got a little border around them. And I literally do mean like a little tiny bit. I'm not taking a lot of them. Ah. Tried not to take a lot of them but this bloody paper trimmer rips all my stuff and I don't know why because it's brand new it's only about two three weeks old if that <sighs> so I'm just going to do my little measure thing I just went and glued that down and um, but I've left this one so obviously I've done the same thing as on this side um 
I've cut my wee lippy flip tag bit off and I've cut it slightly smaller um, and again slightly, slightly smaller as well for the fold and then I'm just going to glue it down um, it's kind of frustrating not having your input to be honest because it would be nice to have some extra ideas because I want them to be similar but not the same it would be nice to have like an outsider's point of view like a fresh eye to tell me like a new idea to put on oh, to put on this um like a pocket I never thought of adding or a flip or something like that it would be nice if I had that option which is why I asked you for your input in the first place um, but just because I need to get these done I'm not going to have that so it's my own fault really for not done this for not having done this a while ago I wasn't fit so there's that I'm um, just going to clean this glue off because it's doing its volcano thing um, so that's all the panels down and like I said I'm going to leave the lace till, till the end so that's all the panels down um, and I'm going to feel bad covering them up in all honesty because I really like the paper um, so I'll need to kind of figure out what kind of pockets I want to put on without covering up too much of the paper because I really do like it. I'm just kind of evening this up a bit. Um, so I might have to think outside the box a little because I really like this paper. Um, so I don't want to cover it up too much. There we go. But I think we'll call it a day. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!